Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you, I get this question a lot, what to do if your dog doesn't walk on the leash. It's not them pulling against or being bad on the leash. This is if they don't want to move at all. If you don't already use NuVet, be sure to click the link in the description or use our code to order. I have another video coming about why we love NuVet and the benefits of using the great supplement for the pups we love. So Stormy, we've had the baby. We haven't been really working on walking inside the house, inside the yard. So we came out to a new area too where I knew she was gonna really struggle so I could show this on camera what you would do in this instant. You see Stormy's laying down, she's planted. She doesn't want to get up. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to try is I'm going to put just a little bit of tension on the leash. I'm going to try and coax her forward with the tension on the leash and kind of evaluate how she tolerates that. I know Stormy doesn't, so I was just kind of showing on video that she doesn't do well with tension on the leash. So the next thing I tried on video was standing her up. So you want to stand them up and try helping them walk forward. So she takes one step, so I'm encouraging her with good girl. She takes another step. Um, she's very weary of new situations and she's very stubborn on the leash, so it was a very good video to be able to make with her. So I stood her up again and I tried walking her the other direction to see if that would um, get her to get walking on her own. She's a very stubborn little one, but it's great for videos like I mentioned. So I'm just trying to help her walk forward. She took a few steps, so I encouraged that. Then I walked forward again and I'm kind of calling her and um, making like the kissing noise to try and get her to come forward. And I'm putting a little bit more tension on the leash to see if that will help her walk forward since she's taken a few steps already. So I'm just waiting on her to move forward to kind of show me what she's uh, wanting to do. Um, here, just ignore me, something was trying to crawl up my leg and bite me. So I walked forward to her again and then I thought to stand her back up again because she wasn't doing well with the tension on the leash. So I stood her up and I helped her try and walk forward a few steps. And I was just encouraging her every time she took a couple steps. So she seemed to tolerate this fairly well. So I worked on this a little bit with her also to get it on camera as well. Um, some dogs learn faster with this method. So I just wanted to show a few different methods that you can try. Because not every dog is going to be the same and not every puppy is going to be the same either. So I'm just giving her praise when she takes a few steps and giving her a little break so she doesn't get too worn out with me. So she was doing a pretty good job moving her front legs. She looks... <laughs> She looks like I'm torturing her, but she's just very, very stubborn. And she doesn't like when there's any type of tension on the leash, which we don't want either. But in order to get her to walk on the leash properly, there's going to be a certain amount of tension on the leash to give her corrections as she learns to heal properly. But right now, I just want her to get used to walking on the leash with uh, random tension sometimes coming into play and releasing pretty immediately. So she starts to walk here, so I encourage her. She's still a little unsure of the area that she's in, but you can see she's really happy. She's just insecure when it comes to new areas. So you see her pull back on the leash when I put a little bit of tension on it. So I just stood her back up again and encouraged her to walk forward. I'm just calling her and encouraging her to come towards me. Again, the kissing faces or come on Stormy or you'll see me pat my leg here and there as well to get her to follow me. So I'm just standing her up and helping her walk forward just a little bit in order to get those movements in her brain connecting so that she knows walking that we're walking right now for this exercise. So she likes to plant herself down in order to refuse. It gives her more surface area to uh, pull back against me. So I'm just, again, very light tension and I'm kind of encouraging her forward. I want her to get used to just a little bit of, a t of tension at a time, but she wasn't doing well with it, so I let the tension go completely and I just encouraged her to come towards me while wrapping up the leash as she walked toward me. So there was no tension whatsoever as she was walking towards me. I just raveled up the leash so she could get used to that feeling of the leash being in front of her. So she did really well and then she was got really excited because she got really big praises there. So I was getting her to walk on a loose leash. Now I know I don't encourage that normally, but when you have a dog that's refusing to walk on the leash, you just want to get them to walk. No matter if it's on a loose leash, no matter if they're in front of you, you want to try and walk faster than them so you can kind of stay in front of them and start building that 
technique with them but right now I just wanted her to walk at all as long as she was connected to the leash in this new area I was satisfied with her walking and being excited about that walk so you'll just see me kind of encourage her to come towards me and the leash is very loose there's not any tension whatsoever you'll see here in a minute when there is tension on the leash how she responds to that like I said I'm just leaving it loose because I just want her to walk as much as possible so she does really really well here and she's very excited as you can see she's finally realizing oh okay we're walking now I understand what this is so that's very good so I was just giving her lots of encouragement as she was walking with me anytime she stopped I just kind of encouraged her with her name or again kissing faces or kissing noises sorry and patting my leg a little bit so she's very very excited you can see her little tail wagging She's starting to get the idea of the exercise that we're doing, giving her lots of praise. And just more walking. I just walked back and forth to just kind of reiterate this. I wanted to work this exercise uh, for a good amount of time, only about 10 minutes. I didn't want to exhaust her or anything. It was really hot outside as well. So I gave her really, really big praises anytime she followed me and there wasn't a whole lot of correction with it, especially because she's excited. I want to keep that energy and see if she will stay excited and I can start putting just a little bit of tension on the leash so she can start getting used to that. She's walking really close by me. She's really attentive of, attentive of me as well, which is a really, really good thing that I was really excited about. I tried to run a little bit here to see if the excitement would keep her going and she would follow me, but she really resisted on that. Again, it's I know with her, it's that slight tension on the leash. She doesn't want me to lead her. She wants to, to lead. But right now, like I said, we're just getting her to walk on the leash and that's okay. So I gave her big praise because she walked towards me when I called her after she started to resist. So we're just building confidence here. We're building her confidence with the leash and knowing that when there's tension on the leash that it's okay. I'm leading her to a safe area. Uh, there's no problems there. And that she can trust that. So she's wagging her cute little tail here. She's so funny. She's a... She's an interesting little pup, but she does great for these types of videos to help people out who have pups just like her. So she does really good, so we give her lots of good, big praises. You want to really encourage them, especially since I don't treat train. I like to give a lot of praise and a lot of really grandiose praises so that they can really get excited and keep that momentum going with whatever training exercise it is that we are doing. So we just walked back and forth a few times. She's kind of circling around, which isn't ideal, but like I said, we just want her to walk no matter if she's really excited, she's up front, she's circling, she's walking back and forth. So here I tried to get her to, to walk on my right side to heal like I normally like. I put a little bit of tension to see if I could outlast her here since she was really excited and her tail was still wagging. So I just held a little bit of tension and I called her name. So a lot of times this will work with certain puppies just right off the bat. Uh, with her, she really struggled with it. Again, it's that tension I know with her that she just really struggles with. So I just put a little bit of tension. I'm calling her. I'm looking forward, trying not to look too much at her. She resisted again a lot, so I didn't want to stress her out. I wanted to keep her really excited. So when her tail stopped wagging, I let the, the, leash, go the leash go loose. That's a really hard word to say. And I called her forward to me so that I could give her praises when she got to me. So again, just positive reinforcement there. So she does good, we give her lots of big praises again. She gets really excited again. We have her follow me around. And she's really attentive to me, so it's a really good job. And you just wanna practice this a few times. You wanna practice this until they really get comfortable with this. You can test it out like I am to seeing if they'll be responsive to a little slight tension and leash correction. If they're not, you just want to keep encouraging this type of walking behavior. You want to get them used to walking on the leash. Occasionally there's going to be accidental slight tension, so eventually they are going to get used to it. So right now we just really want to encourage her walking and associating something positive with this new area on the leash. She's just a little bit insecure when it comes to new areas and new things, so this is typical for Stormy. We know this with her. As she got into older puppyhood, she started having this type of behavior, which is good for videos, like I said. But we're working through it, and she's a joy to have around, so. Here she is all happy, walking, learning her new area. See, she resists here. She bears down. You'll see, because she didn't want to walk that way. 
And this is the part of the exercise where I can't give into that. I don't want her to let her walk the other way too often. I want to start introducing these little bits where I'm encouraging her to come my way without her truly realizing it so that eventually I just take over as showing her where we need to go and where I'm her guide and she trusts that. So you'll see where the leash kind of tugs where she's, I'm not pulling here, I'm just holding it steady where it is because I wanted to walk this direction and she wanted to go the other direction. So again, I'm just encouraging her this way because I want to slowly take over where I'm the guide instead of her kind of leading where she wants to walk. So I dusted her off here because she got little leaves or stickers on her, I can't remember. And uh, just had her walk again, loose leash, she bared down again here because she didn't want to move forward, but I stay in my ground. I want to encourage her to move this direction. So I just waited a little bit to see if she would follow. Loose leash, called her over. She started walking. She's a little hesitant, but she did manage to follow me, so that's really, really good. I have to get down here and encourage her with my hand and patting. And she comes over, rolling in the leash as she does that as well. Lots of big praises. Always, always praise, praise. Having these love praise, that's all they need. You don't really need treats for them. Praise is way more interesting to them than, than treats are. So she did really well with this exercise. I was really happy with her. She really got the hang of it by the end. And even if I had to get down just to call her over, she got really quick with responding to that really well. I just did it a few times on camera so you could see the progress that she made and how she was more eager to come quicker. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so that's this video. This is work in progress, we'll work on that. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. There's only more videos to come, more training videos, more grooming videos, more cute puppy videos in general. Thank you so much for watching.